This 3D capture was done just a week ago at the Metropolitan Museum of Manila. You're seeing right now an overview of the whole exhibit, which occupies the ground floor of the museum. Betsy, throughout several decades, continuously pursued an artistic practice that carried vigorous passion to create art with poetic presence and aesthetic ideal. The exhibition title, Passages, alludes to her transitions in life and art, taking us through several poignant memories encountered in her life and travels within her natal country, Spain, and her adaptive home, the Philippines, and through the introspections of her identity as a woman, wife, mother, and artist. You can actually experience this 3D virtual tour on your own. We will be sharing a link at the end of the program so you too can explore Betsy's art and life at your own pace. Let me show you how. Let us go back to the entrance of the exhibition. Just click on where you want to go or use the WASD keys to navigate. You may also adjust the camera angle and zoom in and out. This also works on mobile devices. The controls are very intuitive, and this is the next best thing to walking in the museum yourself. You can also use these buttons on the lower left to help you explore. You can check out the dollhouse view of the exhibit, also known as the overview of the floor plan with its labeled sections. You can even measure things to get a sense of scale. As we explore the exhibition, you will see these round buttons. Click on each one of them and you will be able to receive more information about every painting. These tags may also contain photographs and other exhibition notes for you to better appreciate every art piece. Let us continue. We're now seeing the portrait section of the exhibit. As you can observe, Betsy captured her subjects with characteristic grace, imbuing them with a sense of presence. You notice too that Betsy's portraits have that unfinished quality. The background has no decorative flourish at all. Still, the portraits look very refined and dignified. Her choice of color palette here is soft and muted, achieving a contemporary minimalism. This softness is contrasted by her vigorous lines and strokes that render the portrait with an ethereal yet strong quality. Beyond portraits, Betsy also depicted the landscapes and seascapes around her. When she moved to the Philippines, we start to observe more familiar local scenes inspired by her visits to the countryside like the Taal landscapes and heritage houses in Vigan. Like many Filipino visual artists, Betsy also painted the Barong Barong. These shacks and makeshift homes depict Pasong Tamo when most of Makati City was still grassland and open space. Betsy also painted seascapes. In her painting's foreground, she did not choose to paint the usual postcard composition of fishermen in their bancas. Instead, she intimately painted the foreground with houses on stilts on water, as if you were right next to it. Let us look closer at one of the seascapes. The red-orange blaze of the setting sun floods the canvas and the luminous light is evanescent, looking almost like vapor. Betsy achieves a poignant aesthetic intensity to her work, similar to her atmospheric graph paintings that we will see later. Here is a rich underwater scene inspired from Betsy's many visits to the beaches and waters of Mindoro. We observe her imagined surreal composition of underwater life, vegetation, and colorful corals. 
with her use of translucent colors of iridescent greens, blues, crimsons, and whites, the painting really expresses the languid movement and liveliness of the Mindora seabed, a scene one may appreciate when diving or snorkeling in our country's beautiful seas. Betsy is certainly known for her very exuberant paintings of flowers and most significantly, her orchids. She paints it against a densely packed vegetation and sometimes combines several species like the bird of paradise. From her keen artistic eye, she meticulous, meticulously studied these flowers through her collection of books on Philippine flora and fauna. She particularly loved the tropical orchids of the Philippines, which possess many unique morphologies. Here is a unique painting among Betsy's body of work. It is a scenic view of her garden pond from her home in Madrid. This composition focuses on water lilies, lotus flowers, and hyacinths emerging from the still pond with different vegetative growths in its surroundings. The water flows towards a shady spot just beneath a stone sculpture of Kuan Yin, the goddess of compassion and mercy. Betsy's range of floral paintings extend outside the orchid. She has also captured the common yet invigorating presence of European wildflowers, such as poppies. Her art's expressionist quality shows an intimate composition here of sunflowers. We can observe her rich, vigorous, tactile strokes that show natural light in its eye-catching vibrancy and beauty, rendered in yellow. Atmospherographs derived from atmosphere points to the description of the atmosphere and its many qualities, a term coined by the eminent Spanish art historian and critic Elena Flores, who was a keen observer and admirer of Betsy's art. Miss Flores was pertaining to the horizon of landscapes and cloudscapes of Betsy's canvases, implying sunrises and sunsets based on the emergence or the diffusion of light commingling with clouds. It evokes the feeling too of something beyond, belonging to a spiritual realm. Moving with an aesthetic spontaneity, Betsy Westendorp catches moments of subliminal beauty from an aerial perspective, from the somber contemplative contrasts of light and darkness to the phantasmagoric collisions of colors. These clouds seem to have its own character, moving like dancers with poetic grace and vigor, intimating to us the many possible emotions the artist was feeling at the time her canvases were created. The exhibit also features a recreation of Betsy's studio. The materials you see here, her easels, paints, brushes, as well as the photographs on the wall were all taken from her home studio in Makati City. Even if she is at her 90s, Betsy continues to paint atmospherographs and other subjects on large canvases, some measuring up to 14 feet. Given how tedious and physically rigorous painting large canvases can be, Betsy uses a simple device, a steel frame equipped with a motorized pulley that allows her to conveniently roll up and down any portion of her expansive canvas. For Betsy's recreated studio, we wanted to show you the artist herself in action. Click this tag and you can see Betsy in quiet concentration while working on her large, large, last, while working on her last large scale work completed three years ago, Homage to Life, a painting you can also see in this exhibition. Thank you very much for joining us on this 3D virtual tour. And we hope you can continue to explore this retrospective further after this program.